Have you ever heard about halves? Mm. For whatever reason. Yeah. But it's one of those like super secret. <clears throat> Everybody knows it's there, but they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Isn't that like a defense thing? Like a defense. You would think. Mm. I don't know. HARP stands for High Frequency Ooh. Active Auroral Research Program. Oh. Yeah. I hear high frequency and that mm-hmm. just that just tingles something in me. Yep. It's used to study oh, literally. Mm-hmm. Frequency mm-hmm. Thing. Um it's used to study the ionosphere and the electrically charged part of the Earth's up, upper atmosphere. Um and it's just a ray of antennas antennas like just on the ground that transmit radio waves up in the sky. That's but yeah, there's all kinds of different like things that it could cause or yeah. Situations that have happened. I feel like I'm back to our frequency conversations. Like you start messing with that, it's like mm-hmm. who knows what can happen. Yeah, yeah. And when you're doing it in the atmosphere that covers the whole Earth, yeah. what effects is that going to have? You know. But, <laughs> what are we doing here? I don't know. <laughs> what are we doing here? I don't know. I want to. I need to see when like the first. Um, who was the first person to like talk about this stuff? Like doing this stuff? It's got to be in like the 1800s or something. Trying, you're talking about weather manipulation or chemtrails? Weather manipulation. Weather like manipulation. talking about like controlling the weather. Yeah. It's, it, it's, that can't be a new idea. No. I mean, it seems preposterous that we could control the weather. Yeah. I mean, the, the Egyptians were kind of trying to, you know, sacrifice the people. To, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They were doing it in a spiritual way, though. Yeah. But yeah. And then once we get to where our technology is big and mm-hmm. we can, they mix God's power. Yep.